What is your first memory? Mine... Mine is somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday. Whatever happened before... is gone. Forever gone.
Dear Mimi, this letter will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago, a choice I understood, but never accepted. This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordogne. Forever with you, Nora.
Make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. That was before we moved to the States. 1982, I think. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi! Yes? Say goodbye.
done. This uh, this isn't I for didn't drawing. Know it. it looked old and Of course it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that I
few days, far from home. were always difficult.
she would usually have snapped or shouted. But she simply, she gave me something. I could tell she was forcing herself to be nice. now we would be walking down to the river she'd be quiet lost in her thoughts my father hated it when i did that he probably hated his mother too when she was like that the river the pebbles the cold cold water the doll diamond
Letters from the past, poems, pictures, postcards. Hmm? Huh? What's that? Oh, it must be Nora's cat. She looks hungry. What's that noise? I'd better check. Uh, how did you... Help you stay still, little one. <laughs> Hello, Missy. Whoa, no, 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 no. I wasn't very brave there. I must be hungry, and I need that key.
you're up. I was going to do some gardening. Will you help me? Sure. What's in that room? Nothing you'd be interested in. Get dressed and meet me outside. And brush those teeth. <sighs> Darn. feel about it I used to come but but something my father and his mother became more distant I did notice it back then I felt that something was wrong and they never spoke about it is that why I don't remember that summer
<laughs> we left the house, we walked together. What a journey it was. just like Nora when I was daydreaming. He hated that, of course. He disliked his mother and never explained why.
the thief. He dropped his bag. Wow. Everything he stole is in it. Funny. Now that I think about it, it's like she knew who the thief was. Why don't you take back all the stolen stuff? I'm sure the sellers will be pleased. Good idea! Thank you, Mimi! Well done, Mimi. Let's head home now. I remember now how good it felt, helping other people, giving up my time for them. How come I'd forgotten all that?
So calm today. Autumn is upon us. I love the sounds of autumn. Everything sounds so crunchy. What are you doing? 
still recording, Edouard. Listen to his footsteps. Here, yeah, this. It's chilly. Oh, that's sweet. Well, sometimes it's my turn. Hmm. It is, my love. Did you call the tree guy? I will. There's no rush. That cherry tree is dead, Nora. It needs cutting down. I know. Hold the mic. I know how a recorder works, dear. <laughs> of course you do. Move it closer to the fire. Otherwise Mimi won't hear it. Oh, that's lovely. I love that cherry tree, you know? I know. Nothing beats a good old fire. Hmm. I agree, my love. Christmas. I'm recording. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> Are you all right? I am. <clears throat> Something in my throat, I guess. <sighs> sorry, dear. Oh. Don't worry. Look up there. That's uh, a Montague's Harrier, I think. Bird of prey. Superb. It's migrated from down south. Oh, I love the spring. So many new things to look out for. Mm. The flowers are out. Did we book the guy for the cherry tree? Edouard, stop worrying about the cherry tree. We'll prune it in due course. I'm not worried. I want the garden to be safe when Mimi visits us.
Up, up, up. Open and it's all right. This place is a very special place. Your grandfather and I used it to express ourselves. Since he passed away, I, I've kept it to myself. It's a bit like a temple, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not good to do that, I think. Places, objects, they should have many lives, just like that tape recorder you found. I should have asked. Perhaps, but now it's yours. Would you like to come down and help me fix the kayak? Yes! Places, objects, should have many lives.
the weather forecast for the southwest. The next few days will continue hot and sunny with temperatures up to 36 degrees Celsius. Enjoy it while it lasts as the low pressure area over England might be heading our way. Ah, this feels good. Oh, that's right. This feels good. Thank <laughs> you. 
there. Something in the forest. Can I go and have a it look? It was probably just a cat, but go on, no problem. Have a yeah, good time. I will. Thank you.
My patch. No one's allowed. You're the thief from the market. I'm not a thief. Never see that word again. I'm just borrowing. Borrowing? That's not. They'll get their things back and more as soon as I find the Coulobre's treasure. The Coulobre? A giant dragon that sleeps at the bottom of the Dordogne. Guarding a big treasure. Enough to pay back the people from the market? Enough so everyone will like me. He'll see. Do you need help? To find the treasure, I mean? Help? <laughs> You're from the city, right? How could a city girl help me find the Colabra? I'm an explorer. Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. If I wasn't an explorer, I wouldn't have climbed up here by myself. Fine. Fine. Well, maybe I should test you. Test? There's a puzzle in here. Solve it. And I'll decide if I can trust you, city girl. But first, catch! <gasps> Are you all right? Don't worry, I'm fine! What is wrong with you? He's gone. Let's meet in my secret lair tomorrow! If you solve my puzzle! <laughs> I'll show him! He'll see if I'm not an explorer!
your help. I thought you were a great explorer. I am. Wow, this is, this is very, very cool. I know. These are things I collected through the years. And you haven't seen anything yet. Yay! I have something even cooler. Cooler than this? You have books, fishing rods, and a wonderful view. This is truly remarkable. Look at this beauty. <laughs> I can cheat in class, and I can even store ten phone numbers. Ten! No way! Can I see it? No, you can't. It's, uh, it's a gift from my teacher. Oh. But it's a secret. You can't say a word to anyone, okay? You're very lucky, Renaud. And I won't tell a soul. Thank you, Mimi. That means a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is so beautiful. The first stars will be coming out soon. <gasps> oh no! I, I have to go! See you tomorrow! <laughs> Cause tomorrow we're hunting the Coulabre! It sounds like I was a monster. I worked, Fabrice, and... Oh, my God, who says that to their mother? What has Mimi got to do with this? She's independent, and she's having fun here.
Nobody cares about me. I'll stay here, I think. Hey, let's continue our search tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sure. Um, Grandma? 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 Uh, 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 what? Oh. Can we invite my friend here? Please say yes. He's all alone, and he'll be hungry. Uh, yes, of course. Why don't we have a picnic outside? It's so beautiful. And we can make something easy to eat. A picnic! That's a brilliant idea! Yeah!
she put up with me and my ideas. I think she enjoyed it. It must be so refreshing to have someone like that in your life. Someone who says yes to all your stupid ideas, all your whims.
Nora knew Renault, and he knew my grandfather. Something bad had happened between them. I see it now. I ran so fast, and for so long, I wasn't angry anymore. I just felt empty and sad. Why? Why? I'm so sick of this family. I must calm down. I must calm down. The binder. Good idea, Mania. Good idea.
changed how the world looked. I remember the smell, the mud. The path I once knew like the back of my hand was different. I only had one thing in mind, fixing the watch, fixing Leno and Nora.
Did you try to sink my kayak? You didn't do it on purpose. I get it. I don't blame you. Could you please... I think I remember. Mimi! Mimi! Oh no! Mimi! Drowned here. Almost died. Forgot everything.
Dear Mimi, I could be writing about how much I miss our days together. I could be crying and going on about how beautiful that summer was and what the following summers would have been like. The years after your father took you away and protected you from me were difficult and lonely. I won't lie about that. I kept thinking about the things I should have done, the things I should have said. But the past is the past. What's done is done. Oh, Mimi, my dear Mimi. I wish I could say these words to you in person, rather than in a letter. I told you once, places, objects, people have many different lives. Life is a long and precious story, so you have to write your own. Explore your life like a beautiful valley on a hot summer's day. Record the colors and the sounds around you like you did back then. Are you sure it's the same cat? 100% sure. I swear. Take a deep breath before every challenge and after every success. And more importantly, tell everyone about life, about the highs and the lows. Share it without holding back. My dearest Mimi, I'm sorry. I'm grateful. I'm leaving happy. Your 